<laughs> Ooh, this is nice. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another venture with the Bearded Bobber. And this is a quick demo ride on the new 101 Scout. So this is a second generation Scout. And uh, well, we're taking it out. Ooh, there we go, let's see. Testing out this new motor. I don't, we, are, we are in sport mode and it feels fantastic. All right. All right, guys, so some quick introductions. The second generation Scout is now a 1250 cc bike. The 101 comes with inverted forks. You can see here they're adjustable. It's got adjustable piggyback shocks. It's got this touchscreen. This is the Plus Tech package that comes, I believe, stock on the 101. So it's a, a thing of beauty. It's got 38 miles on it. So you can see I want to know how far up the RPMs get. Because on my bobber, my 2018 is tuned. And, uh, well, it gets about 85, 8,800 RPMs max. This is showing red line like 910. So we're gonna, we're gonna see. I don't know what we'll be able to actually do on this demo ride. And look at us now, stuck with high school traffic. So if you guys don't know, uh, these four inch ride commands have navigation, music control. They did change up the Scout for second generation. You have the one button here. You do have the cycling on the side here. This side you have a flasher, cruise control, another navigation piece like uh, to navigate stuff. You are able to navigate stuff on the unit with a toggle over there. You have your turn signals both on one side and your horn. So a lot of stuff is just at your left hand touch now, not having like certain things on the right. Which now, granted, the Scout didn't have that, but the baggers did. Other than that, we're, you know, the seat's very comfortable. The shocks so far are very good. A uh, little quarter fairing's nice. Try not to miss anything. This new brake pedal, the pedal, it's not like a peg, really. It's kind of an in-between. You have a shift peg on the other side. And then you have this little pad right here. She moves, man. She definitely moves. She feels really good. The sport mode feels fantastic. Honestly, I'm super comfortable too. Like, bike's planted. Those dual Brembo's feel really good. Yeah, buddy, man. Damn, this bike's comfortable. Like, that's not something you said on the original Scouts, all right? Like, you were like, oh, uh, bumps, shocks. Well, they got you. Okay, I did hit turn signal. Here we go. Come on one over. I shifted too soon, like you didn't even need, I didn't even need to shift. I did not need to shift a third when I did. I do gotta tighten these mirrors up. This bike's brand new, so there's a couple things that it was on display and barely got moved around, so. All right, right now we're gonna take this bike up into the twisties a little bit and uh, have some fun doing a little shakedown a reflector somewhere off the bike I guess came off so someone knew that people are just going to take that shit off so at least I do I don't know am I different ooh you can smell the citrus ooh it smells good man
stops on a dime. Handles really good. Surprisingly, like, I know people are gonna grind these pegs, but feels like there's a good amount of lean angle on the 101. I didn't see any differences on much of these when I got the spec sheets. Trying to make sure my camera on the right side doesn't hit. Guys, we were about to hit the freeway, but my first impression to this motorcycle is exactly, I thought it was gonna be good. You know, I'm like, you know, I don't see, everything I've ridden from Indian has been pretty damn good. And how do you make a second gen Scout after 10 years and not make it amazing? And uh, you know, some people may complain about the look, but that's it. This is fantastic. But I don't know how you make a second gen Scout after 10 years and you don't make it better. So uh, clearly I thought they would. Some of it may come down to cosmetics, like this centerpiece may be a little weird for people. Um, the motor be maybe it's a little smooth. Uh, I may agree with the motor being a little smooth. All right, we're gonna take it on the freeway, see how she does, but uh, I don't see there being issues here. Absolutely beautiful bike. Unlike the original Scouts, I do think you sit down in the bike a little bit more. So that does help. So instead of sitting like more on the bike, I feel like my bobber, the tank's a little, it feels lower and I feel a little bit high on the bike. This one, everything kind of feels a little bit higher, um, a little bit closer when I'm like on the bike. All right, we're getting those higher gears. Everything feels super smooth. getting fifth been in sport mode this whole time it feels fantastic it doesn't feel like sport mode on like the chief uh sport chief man that it really is torquey where the this bike is more horsepower if you haven't ridden a scout before love it love the bike yeah this is this is a thing of beauty right here indian motorcycles does it again with a second gen scout and this 101 scout is super comfortable i don't know how it's going to compare i'm going to ride that bobber up there so far from what i've seen motor wise it has been nothing but great uh it does have doesn't have dual disc brakes and it doesn't have inverted forks so that's going to be something different to see definitely interested and uh excited in this next turn for any motorcycles uh People are going to wonder, like, is it enough to trade in your Scout? I'm not, my Scout won't go anywhere. It's part of the family now. But, damn, man. Stock to stock, yeah. Like, it's enough. I Like, somebody needs to come out with an exhaust for this bike, but that's about it. And it's got a good throaty sound to it. Um, it whines with this two to one. And you get more motor sound, but I think once you open that up, you're in, you're in a you're in a good good spot. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we are going to be pulling up to the dealer here in a minute, and uh, I just want to let you know I love the bike. Let me know if you guys have gotten out and ridden one yet. Uh, by the time you see this, demo days in Redlands will be over, but. Uh, Portland, Oregon, the One Moto Show will have any motorcycle demos if you're in the area. 
keep an eye out for your local demo truck and uh, these bad boys should be on them like each truck carries different ones but you know best of luck and uh, yeah man if you're in the if you're in the uh, the works of wanting to get a bike and something like this you're golden man yeah it's not that big of a gas tank but I'd imagine that you do it right just like my bobber you get good gas mileage and you can you can make any trip happen this one surprisingly stock suspension I, I don't know why I'm surprised any makes amazing stock suspension so for stuff like this the inverted you know the baggers mono shock style bikes this one being a dual shock bike those piggybacks are really I'm sure doing a lot of work and so are the uh, inverted forks so guys stay safe stay classy and I'll catch you later